So how how can I help you to get what you want, like brass tacks? I think this is important to talk about because a lot of the work that I share publicly is the deeper concepts, the philosophy um, that's at the heart of my work. But like, how does that translate to actual physical outcomes? Like my marriage is better. I'm having more intimacy. We're getting along better. Um, my uh, business is doing better. I'm creating more income, making more profit. Or, you know, my body is in a better shape. I've lost weight. I feel amazing in my health. Or whatever the thing is, how does all these lofty concepts and ideas and talk about being actually get that to be? Okay, simple physics. That's my background. I study physics at university. I think in a very practical, pragmatic way. Um, everything that results in this world of form results from an action, right? Like Newton, every action is preceded by an equal and opposite. Every reaction is preceded by an equal and opposite action, something like that. It's been a while since I studied physics, but you get the idea. So every result has an action in front of it. Um, but here's the thing. It's not just whether or not you took an action that created a result. That's obviously a big one. And a lot of the problem with people not creating results is because they're not taking actions to create those results. So that's kind of obvious. There's still work to do there. But even if you are taking action, there's a lot of action that's ineffective. So we want effective action to create the results that we want. Because you're always going to get a result from an action. It just might not be the result that you want. So if you want a particular result, you want to get in shape, you want to have a beautiful relationship with your partner, you want to make a lot more money, that's a result. And in front of that, you need an effective action, an action that works in producing that result, okay? So you gotta take the action and it has to be high quality. Both quantity and quality of action needs to be good. So, but then preceding the action is something inside you. Like where does action come from? Action emerges from you, it's a behavior that expresses from you. And so whether or not you're taking the action and the quality of the action, the efficacy of the action is a function of your internal world, how you're feeling, how you're thinking, your map of reality, right? The, the, the type of action that you take, how you take it, whether or not you take it, all of that is literally a function of how you feel and what you think, your internal world not just the ideas that you have at a certain point in time that you're not present with in that moment, but what's occurring in that moment? What are you thinking and feeling in the moment of the opportunity for you to act that you either act or don't act and whether, whether that action is effective or not? So as we move down this chain, the, it, you know, in one way we're getting further away from like the, the practical outcome, but we're actually, while we're moving further away from that, we're actually increasing the leverage that we have on those outcomes. Think of it like this, like we're moving the fulcrum on a lever away from the thing that we're lifting and towards the, the, cent, the, the us, which is the agent that makes choice, that has attention and awareness, right? And so we move the fulcrum towards us. And as we do that, if we have a conversation and we make a shift about these things closer to this way, the deeper things, and then we utilize that shift, the actions that we take can have a lot bigger impact. And so we're move, we've moved from result in the world to effective action to the thinking and feeling that we have in a present moment now, right? At this time that I'm taking the action. So let's keep moving the fulcrum though. Let's look at like, not just who I'm being in this moment, but who I have been historically. What's my habit of being, right? Because whoever I'm being in a present moment, meaning that's, that's a kind of catch-all term for what is my thinking and what is my feeling in this moment, right? Some of that is going to be circumstantial, but most of it is going to be a function of the patterns of my thinking and feeling throughout my life that I've been in, all right? And so if, if a circumstance arises, it's a pretty good chance that I'm gonna have a certain thought and feel a certain thing because I've been doing this thing called life for a while. You know, people, person beeps a horn right next to me, I jump, that's what I do, that's what this body does. That's a simple version of reaction, but the body, the, the mind reacts to circumstances with thinking and feeling, all right? And so there's not only what occurs in a moment and you're thinking a feeling that precedes the action that precedes the result, there's the habit and the pattern of thinking and feeling that then produces a moment of thinking and feeling that's alive in a moment that then produces the action or lack thereof or its lack of efficacy and the result or lack thereof or desired result or lack thereof. And so now we're looking at like, what is this pattern of being that I have over time? And one of the terms that I use to represent that 
pattern of being is identity. I mean, you could use all different terms for it, but like you could just call it being, you could say who I be is this pattern of being, right? But there's some kind of idea, there's some kind of idea or concept that I have about that pattern. You know, people might say things, oh, like I'm a really slow talker, I'm a really fast talker, I'm a, I'm a really this or a really that. Like it's some kind of description of the pattern that lives as a meta perspective, either consciously or unconsciously, that holds that pattern in place. It's named. It's, it's got not just momentum, but it's got a name. It's got a descriptive element to it that has you know it. So you don't just do it, you know it, either consciously or at least unconsciously. Okay, and so, so how do I help you to create what you want? Well, we figure out who is it that you know yourself to be? What is the world that you know is, right? Like, oh, asking somebody to pay me for this service a lot of money is X, Y, Z. Rich people are A, B, C. Like whatever this... Whatever words come out to finish that sentence, that's the map of reality that you have. Oh, I'm just the kind of person who is bop, bop, bop. That's an idea that is describing a pattern that lives in your being, right? Neurologically, spiritually, it's in you. And when a circumstance happens and there's a moment that's active and then it's either producing an action or not producing an action or it's producing an effective action or not effective action, it's producing some kind of result, either the one you want or something else. And so if you want an outcome, if you want a result in the world, I'm going to walk with you on this chain of events, chain of actions, chain of causes, let's say, from the thing that you want all the way to the idea that you have about yourself and the world that is describing a pattern of operating and being and responding with thinking and feeling internally to situations and to circumstances that produce the possibility of your action that is the predecessor to any result that you want. And then I'm going to help you to see whether or not that idea you have about yourself or the world is effective in a domino chain reaction that leads to that result or not. Because if you're not getting the outcome that you want in your life, then I can guarantee you there's a domino out of place somewhere in that chain. And the further back we go, the more we move the fulcrum, the higher our leverage is. And so this is why I focus here. This is why I'm not really interested in being a coach that just helps people to take the action to get the result. Because you can. the problem with that is that it works. You can do that. You can get people the result. And then they'll come back and help you, ask you to help them get it again. And it's like, I want to help you grow, not just to have a different thought or feeling in a moment so that you take another action. That would be great. That's like a step prior. Right. I don't want, but I don't, that would be like, we'll just pump you up, get you fired up, get you in this powerful state of being. That's not in your pattern. You're in a different pattern that moment because I was in your life. And now with that different state of being, you have a different action you need to get a different result. Great. That's deeper. It is better, but it still needs me. And I don't want you to need me. I want you to be able to see the whole chain all the way back to the idea of who you are. And I want you to be, I want you to become capable of seeing who you think you are and what you think the world is that holds a pattern in place that creates thinking and feeling in certain circumstances that creates action or doesn't create action that creates results. Okay. And so I'm going to take you all the way back in conversation so you can see who you think you are and what you think the world is that's creating the whole chain of events that's creating the results you don't want or the results you do want. We're going to look at it when you succeed as well, not just when it's not working out because that's going to create momentum for you when you see that. And then what are we going to do? So how am I going to help you get what you want? Once I help you to see that, I'm going to help you to change that. I'm going to help you to change the idea about who you think you are, what you think the world is in such a way that it's not just, oh, pop, now I've got an insight. Now I've got a new story. Great, thanks. It's going to work now. No, 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 no. There's, a, there's, there's the insight, but then there's the practice of cultivating, right? If I show you how to lift a weight, you're not instantly fit. I'm not going to show you a different way of seeing yourself in the world, but I'm going to show you the practices that you can partake in on a regular basis that recondition you spiritually and psychologically to have a new pattern of thinking and feeling such that in a particular moment where a circumstance arises or an opportunity arises, you meet that circumstance and opportunity. You have a different thought. You have a different feeling that pops up because you've got a new pattern because we've practiced this. And then you have a different action that pours out of you or the it's either you, now you're taking action whereas before you weren't or the action taking has much more efficacy to it it's making more of an impact and you're getting the results that you want so it can be it can sound complicated it's not actually it's quite simple but the thing is if you can appreciate the power and the value of taking the time to slow down and stop 
being in a hurry to get your outcomes and you start looking at your life and you'd be like, wow, how have I continued to create the, the lack of outcome and des- that I desire? How have I continued to j- miss the mark in my relationship? You know, the, the problem is you. I'm sorry, it's you. I can say that because I know the problem is me. Whenever something in your life is consistently not being the way you want, it's you. That's, look, I'm not saying it's the absolute truth. It's not all sorts of circumstances, but I'm a champion for your power. I'm a stand for you and your power. And unless you're looking directly at the possibility that the only person that is creating that outcome or lack thereof is you, then you're, then you're leaving power on the table. So I want you to buy into the story with me. Try it on. You are the sole creator of your reality because a lot of power in that perspective. And if you can join me there and you can be patient enough to look at the entire journey from the ideas about yourself and the world that hold in place the patterns that produce the thought and feelings in a moment of opportunity and in a circumstance that produce the actions or lack thereof and, and determine its efficacy that then produce your results, then what we're going to be able to do is shift your way of being at such a deep level that not only will you be taking actions that are more effective and getting you the outcomes that you want in, in the direct thing that we started at, like we work backwards from that outcome to this, but actually that's going to spread out into other aspects of your life and other actions that we didn't even have our eyes on when we weren't even looking at. And your efficacy and your impact and your action is gonna go up in all sorts of places. We're gonna be working on your business and boom, over here, your marriage is gonna explode into like the passion that it was when you first met. Or we're gonna be working on your health and fitness and then suddenly, boom, you're gonna start making way more money. Because we're working at a really deep level that holds in place the patterns that create your thinking and feeling, that precede the actions and their efficacy that generate your outcomes. So that's how I'm going to help you to get what you want. It's super pragmatic. It's super practical. Every single day, you'll be understanding more and more deeply that this deep conversation that you have with yourself is actually the highest point of leverage you have to create a difference in your life, to impact the world, and to get everything you want. If there's anything that's not clear about that, drop a comment below and tell me, and I'll make it more clear. Uh, and if you have any other questions, drop a comment below and I'll answer that. Thank you for listening. The best place for me to support you with this is in Creator's Journey. Uh, we've got our first cohort starting in November. So if you want more information about that, it's a year long program. We're in conversation every single week. Conversation is the best place to learn and grow. Uh, then tap the link down below to learn more. Or if you're ready to join us, tap the link and join us. All right. Love you guys. Bye for now.